Okay guys, so let's talk about what you just saw. That was my latest attempt at replicating web fluid. Um, apparently a lot of people in the comments think that I haven't worked on web fluid at all, which isn't true, I've actually worked on it quite a bit, but I just haven't found anything that was I really thought was worth sharing. I was using hydrogen peroxide and yeast to make like a silly string type thing, but it wasn't like very good, especially in comparison to brain ions. His is amazing, so it just didn't really seem to, to be any point to showing a crappier way of doing it. But, um, yeah, I originally thought of this, I was making a costume, I was super gluing some fabrics together, and I noticed that it was heating up exponentially, and so I took my hand off of it really quick, and it started smoking. And so I look on the back of the super glue container to see if there was any warnings, and apparently there are. So apparently you can't put super glue on fabrics, especially not cotton. I'm not really sure about synthetic fabrics. I'm not really sure about that, but I know for a fact you can't put it on cotton fabrics. So I'm not sure if that's the cyanoacrylate or the super glue reacting with the cellulose itself in the cotton or if it's just because it has a larger cure area because if you have cotton it's obviously strands so if you put super glue super glue the way it cures and the way it bonds so fast is because it heats up partially so if you have a whole bunch of strands covered in super glue and this part's heating this part's heating this part's heating that my fingers are representations of strands of cotton and so if this part's heating and this part's heating and this part and this part and that's all collectively heating that's going to build up a lot more heat than if you just had one piece that's heating up so I don't know if that's what it is or if it's partially because of the cellulose so I was attempting to liquefy cellulose using an ionic liquid I found a tutorial on YouTube on how to make one and so yeah I was trying to dissolve paper I'm going to try cotton balls I just do not have any of those on hand at the moment so I was using paper instead, which has a cellulose content. I was using napkins. And so as you could tell, when I pulled it out, it made kind of like a rope web type thing. So that's really exciting. It legitimately made like a goo. Like it was, that was so cool. I just turned paper. And then if you saw after that, I, um, I, washed it with water and then I dried it off and it made paper again. So I'm thinking if I can find a way to have the ionic liquid break down in the curing process for the webbing itself, then I may be able to make it to where it just turns into like a legitimate paper web. Though I would like to find a way to strengthen it, but I'm going to start small, just like my boy Brain Ion. <laughs> if you don't know who that is, then you are missing out so much. He is a complete and total genius. I'll link his channel in the description below, but um, he has been working on silly string based web fluid and all kinds of different web shooters. He's the guy's a genius. He's amazing. But um, so anyway, so I'm going to try to find a way to strengthen my webbing once I can get it to where it's a viscosity low enough to shoot it. Um, I actually have this new web shooter. So yeah, there's that. Um, I'll just show you. I'll just show you some quick test footage of this. There we go. And then to change the nozzle, of course, I just have to twist that. So this should be like a wider spread web. There we go. It's starting, the batteries are starting to die, so sorry, it's a little bit pathetic, but I swear it usually does shoot farther. But, like, if you compare the sound that the pump is making now to previous videos, you can kind of tell, because instead of it going like it usually does, it's just going if that makes enough sense. But, yeah, that's that. Um, I'll try to get another video on sometime soon of it with the full charge. But 
I think the size is pretty good, especially at the range. The range on a full charge is about three feet, which isn't bad at all, considering the fact that it's just the size of it. Um, I mean, sometimes I can get four, but and then, as I said, with the spray nozzle, I can just adjust this to where I can get it to where it can have a like a line or a or a widespread web. So what I would like to do is make like a lever on top of here to where it comes up on a lever that will have a servo and to where the servo will turn this with the lever and then I can have pre-built functions with an Arduino Pro Mini or an Arduino Gemma or something. I'm not really sure what would be the best for this probably an Arduino Pro Mini but and then what I'll do with that is I will simply put that on there then I can have two buttons right here one that will obviously fire and then one that will change the web shooter um, mode to where like when say I have a switch right here so I could have like a button right here with a piece that comes out a little bit right here so whenever I move my wrist it pushes the button and it changes the mode then I could have a sheet of paper across here with each one drawn on like each mode and then it could like have an LED behind it so it could display which mode it's on which would be pretty cool so I could change the modes with that and then have a mode display and then I might be able to upgrade to an LCD screen later on however I would probably have to use an Arduino with that rather than an Arduino Pro Mini just because it's a lot easier to use an LCD with an Arduino so yeah that's what I would like to do is to where I could have automatic web shooter combination changes I've also been working on a Karen um, UI like user interface like in the suit and then so I'll link that in the description I just made it on scratch during class one day I was just like bored during geometry so I just made that little script in scratch so I'll put that in the description too until next time thanks for watching as always please subscribe I recently tried to monetize my channel so if you could like spread the word about my channel would be awesome because I could start getting some funding for some projects to make a lot some way better projects just anything helps because <laughs> I am currently at zero income <laughs> so yeah it'd be really nice to I basically just use complete and total scraps from around the house and stuff to make these things. If I could buy parts specifically for specific projects, it would be amazing. But at the moment, that's just not a possibility. So hopefully, YouTube will, appro will approve the monetization of my account. And until then, I'll keep building with what I have. Um, I'll try to get a video of the high power web shooter up soon. I just keep forgetting to charge it, to be perfectly honest. Which, to be clear, is not this one. It's a completely different one. But, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll continue to do updates on the web fluid. If you would like a tutorial on the web fluid, then I would be more than happy to. Just tell me in the comments. If I get a decent amount of people asking for a tutorial, then I would be happy to do that. And without further ado, thanks for watching, and bye.